Let's look in more detail at how DNP messages are formatted. The International Organization for Standardization, or ISO, has defined a communication architecture called the Open System Interconnection, or OSI, reference model. This model separates the functionality into seven separate layers. It is customary to reference the OSI seven-layer model in protocol discussions, although very few protocols implement the entire seven-layer stack. DNP3 is based upon a simplified model of the OSI reference model called the Enhanced Performance Architecture, or EPA. This model consists of only three layers, application, data link, and physical. DNP3 also adds a transport function. The transport function provides some, but not all, functionality of a full layer. In theory, each layer of the stack performs a set of functions to communicate with the same layer in another device, using the next lower layer for more primitive functions. Each layer should be independent of the layers above and below it. Each layer in the stack communicates with the same layer in another device, relying on lower layers to provide more primitive functions. When sending, each layer receives data from the layer above it. Each layer adds more information in order to allow the equivalent layer in the receiving device to properly process the message. When receiving, each layer examines the data for the specific information for that layer and processes the message appropriately. That layer's information is then removed from the message, and the message is passed up the stack to the next higher layer for further processing. The net effect is layer-to-layer -layer communications. DNP's transport function performs the layer-like functionality of breaking large messages into smaller messages that can be handled by the link layer. On the receiving side, the transport function reassembles these messages into the application layer messages. A DNP message can be virtually any size. A large message will be broken up into application layer fragments. An application layer fragment is typically 2048 bytes, although it can be smaller or larger. The DNP3 specification states that the application layer fragment size must be configurable to a size no larger than 2048 bytes. A device may also allow smaller sizes to be configured. Each fragment is broken into smaller frames. The transport function header is prepended to each frame, and the data link layer header is added. CRC bytes are included after the data link header, after each 16 bytes of the message, and at the end of each frame.